Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Let's get into it, man. So the news report has came out that PNB killer, PNB rock killer was able to locate him by that pen drop that his girl did in the Instagram post. Now, this whole thing is crazy to me simply because that's like the weird, the weirdest flex you can ever do. You know what I mean? Like to say that I got money and I'm going to take a picture of me eating Roscoe's. Like, we talking about Roscoe's chicken. You know what I mean? What type of flex was you trying to do with that? Um, and I think this also falls back on the guys as well because you can't just have a female that looks nice. You know what I mean? If you living, even if you're not living like that, she needs to be aware of her surroundings. She needs to know what's going on. Um, if you're the only one that's always on high alert all the time and she doesn't even see why you're like that, that's the issue, man. Um, so I can say he, he kind of brought this on himself a little bit. You know what I mean? Because it's easy to tell a female no. Check out this news clip that I have and uh, we're going to come back in a second. Let's go. Yes, and Chief Michael Moore just confirmed a few minutes ago that he was targeted because of an Instagram post. There were actually a couple, one from the rapper himself in the back parking lot when they first got here, giving somebody enough time to get here and kill him, and then another one from his girlfriend when they were sitting at the table. The restaurant is back open today, but obviously a much different vibe inside. People who work here extremely upset. He was a guest in our community and it was gunned down, gunned down by cowardly acts. Local city rights leaders call on LA City Council to offer a reward to catch PNB Rock's killer. It was a brazen murder in broad daylight. The rapper from Philly was eating lunch with his girlfriend who is the mother of one of his two daughters. It was 1.30 p.m. Monday at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles on Manchester and Maine in South L.A. LAPD says an armed black man in a mask went up to their table, exchanged words, shot PNB multiple times, and stole his chain and a couple other pieces of his jewelry, and then ran out to a getaway car. Witnesses desperately gave the rapper CPR, but he didn't make it. Don't wear the jewelry in any place out the doors right now. There's a lot of crazy people out there. And believe me, the crazy people are desperate. They don't target just rappers. They target anybody with money. Stop pulling the trigger. There are better ways to handle different types of issues. Fans have been coming here all day, dropping off candles and flowers, setting up a memorial for the rapper who they loved so much and who had such a bright future ahead of him. Now, the chief is confident that somebody out there knows who these suspects are, the murderer and the man in the getaway car, and he's really asking for the public's help before they kill somebody else. Now, there is possibly going to be a reward. It sounds like city council is on board, so as soon as we get that information, we will, of course, bring it to you. For now, reporting live in South L.A., I'm Haley Winslow, Fox 11 News. So, Haley, just to clarify, Chief Moore says somebody saw that Instagram post saying that he was at Roscoe's, and then that suspect came to the restaurant because of that, looking for the jewelry specifically. Is that what they believe right now? Yes, he does believe that he was targeted because of the Instagram post. Now, I talked for an extensive amount of time to the property manager here, who's actually the one who gave him the chest compressions, the CPR, trying to save his life. And he confirmed with me that the rapper posted on Instagram in the back parking lot at Cadillac with his girlfriend telling people that they were here. He was in the restaurant for about 45 minutes, and then the girlfriend posted an Instagram story about her food when they were sitting at the table. And he, of course, made you know, made it clear that people need to be really careful what they're putting on social media because you're putting yourself in a very vulnerable state. Obviously, nobody expected this to happen. It's just a, absolutely a tragedy. So I say, who's the blame in this situation, man? Um, I'm going to say I blame all three. We're going to break down all three, right? Um, I blame PNB Rock because... He was a product of his environment. Um, he didn't know how to let the hood go. And I think that's something that we struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis, man. Uh, this is how we grew up. So we feel like we gotta stay true to our roots all of the time. And honestly, that's not the case. You know, you made it out for a reason. 
uh and you made it out of philadelphia at that um so it's like we still be trying to have a point to prove when we don't have a point to prove like we already made it at that point you know what i'm saying um i felt like sometimes these artists don't even know like they have this whole street persona and they 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 forget like i am famous you know what i mean and there's a lot of people out here that's starving that's willing to take anything for nothing and i mean nothing at all um secondly i mean i could blame you know his girlfriend the reason why i would say i would bl blame his girlfriend um is because she was being uh negligent uh she wasn't being aware and, and even if you look at his past interviews you know it seems like she doesn't listen like he tells her different things and you know he's more on point with different things and, and it seems like she's not and i think guys have to learn man like if you're talking to someone you need to let them know like hey this is how i move and yes we we probably grew up differently and you know this and that but you know this is what it is and i think if you come to that mutual understanding then both both of y'all can have your head on a swivel but i think for the most part it just seemed like it was just him you know what i mean and then you were still you were still comfortable enough to walk around with all of this jury on and think like nothing was going to happen you are an inst uh, instant target you know what i mean like guys is really out here starving they hurting and it's like you're playing with their emotions for real you know what i mean like what makes you so special that they won't take nothing from you and if you buck and if you do that then you gotta come with you gotta take whatever come with it um thirdly i think i i just i blame my environment man this this comes from poverty this comes from you know the struggle this comes from social media um us seeing what other people have and we want that as well um it's just sad that we tend to fall victim to things because we have less less of and you know i i can't blame certain guys for doing certain things man it was a point in time where you know i was like you know people are actually working hard for stuff and you know you got guys out here taking it but then you the average street guy is not not thinking like that because they not they not they not out there working a nine to five they out there trying to get it by any means you know what i mean and i can't say that i respect a drug dealer more than a thief or a thief more than a robber you know what i mean like when you in them streets you gotta know that these particular things happen and this is just what comes with the game it's not good at all it's not good at all it, it, it only goes one or two ways man it's either jail or you or you die and you gotta pick and choose like is that the road that you want to continue to go down or do you want better for your life you gotta stop trying to live up to a certain image and it's so crazy because i think these artists be so deep in that even if they wanted to turn around they can't because this is why the fans gravitate to them till this day and it's because of the music that they made the image that they uphold you know the chains the the flashiness man all of that came from poverty man it's hard for us to actually make it out that that hole man to make it from the bottom and and actually get to a point where you you taking care of your family your loved ones and then you still want to have that privilege to come back to the hood but unfortunately it doesn't work like that man i want y'all to let me know what y'all think leave a comment uh make sure y'all like subscribe man 
But y'all let me know what y'all think about this PNB Rock situation and his girl dropping a pen. Like, how do y'all think people are su supposed to maneuver in this day and time? You know what I mean? Because y'all have to understand. Being aware of your surroundings is not being scary. Being alert is not being scary. What's scary is you not being aware of your surroundings. Like that, Kato Media, I'm out.